Hello everybody and welcome to Books with Ike. My name is Isaac and today I'm going to be going over every unread book I own. Now, I have over a hundred books to talk about, so whatever I do have to say about them will be very brief. And so that we don't waste any more time, let's just get on into it. The first book I have is Shadowhunters and Downworlders, which is an essay collection edited by Cassandra Clare, and it's a bunch of essays about the Mortal Instruments series. I mean, I only have this because I thought they were short stories, but I'll read it eventually. Next I have The Golden Tower by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, and this is the fifth and final book in the Magisterium series, which is a middle grade urban fantasy about a magic school. King of Scars by Lee Bardugo, this is the latest book in the Grishaverse, and this book follows Nikolai. All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Steve Otter. I believe this is about a family who can perform miracles, and I don't know anything else about it, I have it because it's Maggie Steve Otter. Then there's Monster of the Week by F.T. Lukens. This is the second book in the Rules series, which is a YA urban fantasy MM romance. And I loved the first book, but I'll have to reread it before I get into this one. Then there's The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. This is a YA high fantasy, and that's all I know about it. The Raven King and The King's Men. These are the second and third books in the All for the Game trilogy. This is a new adult crime story masquerading as a sports story. Red Skies Falling by Alex London. This is the second book in the Skybound trilogy. This is a way high fantasy set in a world revolving around birds of prey. Traitor's Moon by Lynn Fluelling. This is the third book in the Night Runner series, which is an adult high fantasy about a secret spy network and also a gay romance. Ringworld by Larry Niven. This is a classic sci-fi about a world which is shaped like a ring. Paper and Fire and Ash and Quill by Rachel Kane. These are the second and third books in the Great Library series, which is a YA alternate history fantasy set in a world where the Library of Alexandria never burned down and now rules the world. I would have to reread the first book before I read these. The Black Reckoning by John Stevens. This is the third and final book in the Books of Beginning series, which is a middle grade urban fantasy about magical books. Uh, I would have to reread the first two books to read this one. The Ask and the Answer and Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. This is the second and third books in the Chaos Walking trilogy, which is a YA sci-fi about human colonists of an alien world who can hear each other's thoughts. I would have to reread the first book before I read these. Also by Patrick Ness, I have The Rest of Us Just Live Here. This is a YA urban fantasy about normal people in a fantasy world. And more than this, which is a weird fantasy story about a boy who dies and then wakes up in a strange afterlife. Ink Spell and Ink Death by Cornelia Funke. This is the second and third books in the Ink World trilogy, and that is a middle grade fantasy about people who can read characters out of books, and Ink Spell is actually the first book in this series I ever read, uh, but I never finished it and I remember nothing about it, so I would have to reread the first book first. Lair of Dreams, Before the Devil Breaks You, and The King of Crows by Libba Bray. These are the last three books in the Diviners series, which is a YA Prohibition era supernatural horror, and I intend to read these very soon. The Hanged Man by K.D. Edwards. This is the second book in the Tarot sequence, which is an adult urban fantasy about Atlanteans who are named after tarot cards. Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. These are the second and third books in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, which is a YA urban fantasy-ish story about chimera and angels. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is a YA high fantasy about a lost mythical city. The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is an adult high fantasy about a gang of religious thieves. <laughs> Strange Fortune by Josh Lanyon. This is a adult high fantasy and also an MM romance, and that's all I know about it. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This is a YA historical MM romance about a noble heir going on a European adventure. 
The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This is an adult fantasy. I have no idea what it's about, I just know that it's very highly regarded. The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. This is a YA high fantasy set in a world with a caste system based on different sorts of birds, and there is a deadly plague going around. I Hope You Get This Message by Faranaz Rishi. This is a YA sci-fi about people sorting out their problems in the wake of an alien apocalypse. Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asserman. This is an adult MM historical romance set in 80s Italy. The Chimes by Anna Smile, Smail or Small. This is a adult urban fantasy set in a London dominated by a musical instrument that destroys memories. Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody, YA gangster fantasy. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. This is a YA contemporary-ish, sci-fi-ish thing set in a world where you can delete memories, and the main character is gay, and that's all I know about it. And then They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. This is exactly what it sounds like. This is a YA MM romance about two boys who meet on the day they're both going to die. The Root by Naaman Gobert Tillahan. I really hope I pronounced that right. This is a YA urban fantasy about the children of gods, I think, and it has queer main characters. Sebastian by Sam Argent. This is an MM fantasy romance, and I know nothing else about it. The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. This is a adult high fantasy set in a world based on recent Chinese history. The Steel Remains by Richard Morgan. This is also an adult high fantasy, and it has a gay protagonist, and I know nothing else about it. Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve. This is a YA steampunk fantasy about moving cities that eat each other. An Ember of the Ashes by Saba Tahir. This is a YA high fantasy based on ancient Rome, I believe. The Once and Future King by T.H. White, possibly the most well-known retelling of the Arthurian myths. And that is every book in the series. Riverkeep by Martin Stewart. This is a fantasy, I don't know if it's urban or high, and it's about a river keep who is someone who patrols a river. Okay, I don't know what this is about. The Scorpion Rules by Erin Bow. Um, this is a YA high fantasy and I have no idea what it's about. The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. This is a YA urban fantasy and I have no idea what it's about. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is a YA sci-fi told in case files and interviews and it's about a planet that gets attacked by a corporation, I think? I can't remember. Meh. The Black Tides of Heaven by J.Y. Yang. This is the first book in the Tensorate series, which is a high fantasy based on some part of East Asia, I'm not sure which, and I believe the main characters are non-binary. The Fire Within by Chris DeLacy. This is a middle grade fantasy about little statues of dragons that come alive. Uh, I read the first four books in this series a long time ago when I was a kid, but I remember nothing about them. Slaying Isidore's Dragons by C. Kennedy. This is an MM contemporary romance about two people who I think lost parents in a terrorist attack, uh, but I know nothing else about it. Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff. This is a YA high fantasy based on Japanese mythology, I do believe, and lots of people think it's very problematic. Temeraire by Naomi Novik. This is the first book in a series about the Napoleonic Wars with dragons. And the dragons are like giant cat dogs, and they're brilliant. I read about half of this book a long time ago, but I never finished it. The Night Itself by Zoe Marriott. This is a YA urban fantasy based on Japanese mythology, and this is also said to be very problematic. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This is a post-apocalyptic fantasy, I think? set on an earth which is dominated by a different race of creatures, and there are clairvoyants who are an oppressed class. The Screaming Staircase by Jonathan Stroud. This is, I believe, a middle grade urban fantasy about ghost hunters. Autobiography by Christina Lauren. This is a YA contemporary MM romance about a writing competition and Mormonism. The Call by Peter O'Gwillen. Irish names are hard to pronounce. Pedro Gwillen? Pedro Gillen? Something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, this is a YA urban fantasy about humans who are hunted by fairies. The Other Life by Julia Gray. This is a YA urban fantasy about Norse mythology. 
The Warrior Air by Cinder Williams Chimer. This is a YA high fantasy and I have no idea what it's about. The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. I know literally nothing about this. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is an adult fantasy-ish, sci-fi-ish thing about people trying to give themselves superpowers. I read about half of it, but never finished it. The Gunslinger by Stephen King. This is the first book in the Dark Tower series, which is very famous and I have no idea what it's about. The Raging Ones by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is a YA fantasy or sci-fi, I'm not sure which, and I don't know anything else about it. Plain Kate by Erin Bow. I know literally nothing about this. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. This is a World War II historical fiction narrated by Death. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is an adult sci-fi about an oppressed class of people on Mars. The Great Pyramid Robbery by Catherine Roberts. This is a historical fantasy about the Great Pyramid, obviously, and I've had this since I was a kid, but never read it. The Waking Dark by Robin Wasserman. I believe this is a YA fantasy murder mystery, but I'm not sure. The Young Elites and the Rose Society by Marie Lu. This is a YA fantasy, and the main character is an anti-hero, and that's all I know. The Merlin Conspiracy by Diana Wynne-Jones. This is the second book in a series, and I don't have the first, so I've never read it. A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. This is a YA contemporary about foster brothers being reunited after years, and also child abuse, I think. And The Silence of Six by E.C. Myers. This is, I believe, a YA thriller, and I know nothing else about it. Next I have a few comics, and first from Marvel I have Deadpool The Complete Collection Volume 1 by Daniel Way, Steve Dillon, Paco Medina, Carlo Barberi, Andy Diggle, and Bong Dazzo. If I pronounced any of those names wrong, I'm sorry. And from DC I have a couple of Batman comics, and those are White Knight and A Death in the Family. And A Death in the Family is by Jim Starlin, Marv Wolfman, Jim Aparo, and George Perez. And White Knight is by Sean Murphy and Matt Hollingsworth. Next I have a few Doctor Who Third Doctor books, and those are The Face of the Enemy by David A. McKinty, Rags by Mick Lewis, Verdigree by Paul Maggers, The Wages of Sin by David A. McKinty, and The Sons of Koresh by Paul Saint. And also from the Doctor Who universe, I have the first two books based on the spin-off class, and that is Joyride by Guy Adams and The Stone House by A.K. Benedict. Then I have a few of Terry Pratchett's Discworld books, and the first of those is The Light Fantastic. I have actually read this one, but I remember nothing about it, so I'm counting it as unread. And I also have Equal Rights, Sorcery, Weird Sisters, Pyramids, Witches Abroad, and Thief of Time. I also have his sci-fi novel, Strata. Next I have a bunch of random stuff that I got from my dad or my brother or a friend, in one case. And the first of those is The Talented Mr. Ripley by Patricia Highsmith. I believe this is about someone who kills someone and takes their identity, but I'm not sure, I've never seen the movie and I've never read the book. Then I have Merlin's Godson and Merlin's Ring by H. Warner Munn. I assume this is Arthurian fantasy. The Citadel of Fear by Francis Stevens. I have no idea what this is about. And The Third Policeman by Flann O'Brien. And I also have no idea what this is about. And then I have some Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And I have The Complete Long Stories, which is a study in Scarlet, The Sign of Four, The Valley of Fear, and The Hound of the Baskervilles. And I have The Adventures and Memoirs. The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is an adult high fantasy which is a queer feminist retelling of George and the Dragon. I am currently reading this book, I'm about 50 pages in. Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. This is the first book in the Books of Babel series, which is an adult high fantasy about the Tower of Babel, where every level is a different world. Wranglestone by Darren Charlton. Gay YA zombie apocalypse. Smiler's Fair by Rebecca Levine. This is an adult high fantasy about a depraved circus. Anne Hager by Lisa Henry. This is an MM fantasy romance about fairies. The Lord of the White Hell Book 1 by Jin Hale. This is an MM fantasy romance about a magic school. Scarlet and the White Wolf, The Peddler and the Bandit King by Kirby Crow. This is an MM fantasy romance about a 
Bandit King and a Travelling Merchant. Every Heart Doorway by Seanan Maguire. This is the first book in the Wayward Children series, which is a novella series about children who go to portal worlds and what happens when they come back. Reverie by Ryan LaSala. This is a YA urban fantasy and it's about extremely gay dream magic. The Beauty's Brother by Leon Hart. This is an MM fantasy romance and it is probably a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin. This is the first three novellas in The Tales of Duncan Egg, which is a prequel series to A Song of Ice and Fire. Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. This is a companion to A Song of Ice and Fire, and it's about the history of the Targaryen family. The Well of the Unicorn by Fletcher Pratt. This is another one of my dad's old books that I know nothing about. And the same is true of Dragon World by Byron Price, Michael Reeves, and Joseph Zucker. Next I have The Opal Deception and The Time Paradox by Owen Colfer. These are the fourth and sixth books in the Artemis Fowl series. I loved Artemis Fowl when I was a kid, but I never finished it. And this is a middle grade urban fantasy about fairies. The Spook's Battle and The Spook's Mistake by Joseph Delaney. These are the fourth and fifth books in the Wardstone Chronicles. And once again, the Wardstone Chronicles were one of my favorite book series when I was a kid, but I never finished them. And this is a YA urban fantasy about monster hunters-ish. It's really difficult to explain. And another couple of childhood favorites, uh, Dark Parallel, and Apocalypse Moon by M.G. Harris. And these are the fourth and fifth books in the Joshua Files series, which is a middle grade, younger end of YA sci-fi series about a lost Mayan civilization. The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman, the second and third books in the His Dark Materials trilogy. And this is a fantasy series set in an alternate universe where the human soul is personified in the form of an animal called a demon, and it is an indictment of organized religion. Reboot by Amy Tintera. This is a YA sci-fi about people who die and then come back to life, and I think they have strange abilities when they come back to life, I'm not sure. And Control by Lydia Kang. This is another YA sci-fi, and I have no idea what it's about. Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. This is a classic historical fiction about pirates. Time Riders by Alex Scarrow. This is a YA sci-fi series about time travel. This is another one of the childhood books I owned that I never read. The Folk Keeper by Franny Billingsley. I have no idea what this is about. This is another book I owned as a kid that I never read. And so is... The Eye of the Serpent by Philip Caveney. This is a middle grade or YA urban fantasy about Egyptian mythology, I think. This isn't what it looks like, and you have to stop this by pseudonymous Bosch. These are the fourth and fifth books in the Secret series, which is a middle grade fantasy-ish series about alchemy. And this was another of my favorite series as a kid, but I never finished it. The first three books in The Chronicles of Ancient Darkness by Michelle Paver, and those are Wolf Brother, Soul Eater, and Spirit Walker. These are middle grade slash younger end of YA Stone Age fantasies. This was one of my brother's favorite series as a kid, but I never read them. The Yard by Alex Gresson. This is a Victorian era crime story, and this is another book that my brother gave me. The Animals of Farthingwood by Colin Dan, another childhood book that I never got round to reading. Alien Deeps by Douglas Hill, once again another childhood book I never got round to reading. This is a sci-fi, I know nothing about it. The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas, another classic, never read it. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. I think this is half a contemporary story about a writer, and half a story about one of the characters in her book, but I could be wrong about that. Unnatural Creatures by Neil Gaiman. This is an anthology of, I think, horror-ish short stories about mythical creatures. The Lie Tree by Francis Hardinge. I have no idea what this is. The entire Beautiful Creatures series by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And that's Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, and Beautiful Redemption. My parents accidentally got me the box set for this instead of the first book. So that's why I own all four. I think this is urban fantasy set in the American South. I also have the entire Belgariad series by David Eddings. 
and that is Pawn of Prophecy, Queen of Sorcery, Magician's Gambit, Castle of Wizardry, and Enchanter's Endgame. And this is a classic fantasy story, but given some unsavoury things I've heard about David Eddings, I'm not sure if I want to read this anymore. I also have books 2 to 13 of A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket, and those are The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, The Austere Academy, The Airsats Elevator, The Vile Village, The Hostile Hospital, The Carnivorous Carnival, The Slippery Slope, The Grim Grotto, The Penultimate Peril, and The End. And I know that this is a childhood classic that most everybody should have read, but because I don't have the first book, I never have. And finally, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And this is a YA urban fantasy about a home for kids with superpowers. So yeah, that was every unread book that I own. If you saw something that you think I should prioritise, be sure to leave that in the comments. And also tell me what are some books that you own that have been on your TBR for the longest time. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter or add me as a friend on Goodreads if you feel like it. Links to both of those in the description. And I will hopefully have another video up soon. But until then, thank you for watching. I have been Isaac and this has been Books with Ike. Goodbye.